Old People by John Hyatt. Um, we're going to start in the key of G. He does it in uh, the key of F sharp on his recording, but live, as you probably noticed, he does it in G. So we're going to do it in G because it makes a lot more sense. It's kind of this kind of rhythm going on. So this song, I think I've been two parts. The first part is the verse, and he comes in just kind of strumming. Kind of a strum drang thing, he, he, he comes down on that G note. So uh, I assume you know a G chord. There's your G chord right there, you can see it. Lots of ways to do it. I do it like this a lot. A pinky here. So in the verse, he starts out, Old people are pushy. And then he goes to C. You should you know the C chord. And then back to G. And then G again. Back to over to D. Okay, those are the only three chord, three chords in the song. Oh da 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 da. the verse feel. When we go to the chorus, after you go to that D, it walks up to the C, and it does a, a G on the E string, which is third fret. It goes like this, it walks up. That's how it leads into the chorus. Old people are to a C chord. Push It's a D7 here. That's the difference, as opposed to just a D. Or you can hit a D. D7th is kind of nice. You got a second fret on the G string, first fret on the B string, and second fret on the E string. That's what an E, uh, sorry, a D7th looks like. Back to G. And then again, Back that you walk up to the sea. So that's by again that G, low G on the E string, third fret, open A, second fret, A string with the second finger, to your C chord. So that's a walk up. That's important uh, when you get to the chorus. So he sings it with the walk up. G chord, and then it's a it's kind of a connective tissue. So it looks like a it looks like an A minor seventh move. You see this a lot on G chord stuff. So you got your second finger on the second fret of the D string, your first finger on the C note, first fret of the B string. If you connect that with the G chord, which I play like this, so you'll see that a lot in this kind of strumming. I use a lot. So for the chorus feel, once again, old people are pushing, but they ain't pushing. Right, here's your move. Old people are pushing. I'm, 
I'm choosing to do a D7 here. He does that line. Because it differentiates between the verse feel and the chorus feel. And it repeats that. So now, now that we have the basic feel, it's kind of a strum drang thing. Oh, people are pushy. your five chord. You can pick up your G, which is your root chord, by hitting an open E, an F sharp, which is the second fret on the low string, a little E, to your G chord. So the way that sounds if you're hitting your five chord, that sets you up. And that's how you get into a verse. So let me, let me just kind of, I know this is a lot of info, let me tie this all together, play it. And then I can give you a couple more little cookies to, I call them cookies, the things that get you from chord to chord. So we'll just kind of go through a verse feel and a chorus feel and then come back. So you just start out. Oh, people are pushing. They haven't got much time. Stay at the C. Back to your G. To C. You stay at C. Then to G. Then to D. Do that walk up to G. Now we're going to go into our chorus. And if you want to do this, this is really cool. He does it. A C chord, and you're alternating it with a low G note. Kind of a country thing. You can do it or not do it, but it sounds cool to go. Back to your G, and then do that move I just showed you. And then you dress on your D7. Differentiates between the, again between the chorus and the verse. And then he repeats. Then walk up again and do the G move. Old people are then walk up. So hopefully that, that uh, gives you a good feel for the verse and for the, uh, for the chorus, the different things. They're very close, but the difference between the verse and the chorus is in the verse, it stays longer on the C. Oh, people are pushing. It stays on G. Do what they want to do. And then you stay on the C. And then back to the G. And then to your D. That's the exact feel of the verse. And the chorus is different. The chorus walks up to a C. It starts on a G note, a G root. Right? And you have an option here to either just stay like it, which is fine, and hammer on there. I'm hammering on with my second finger on the D string, second fret. These are cool little... You'll hear him do that a lot. And then back to you. Now, if you want to have the option of going... Seven. We're in the chorus now, right? Now walk up to your G. It's very effective. And then you go to your second half of your chorus. The key to that is you're singing along as you're walking up. Very effective. He does that. 
He doesn't do it like I just did it. He does it casually. <laughs> Great solo. Seven, D seven, and then walk up. Okay, and then lastly, I mean, he does. If you look at his live version, he does some blue stuff. I don't know if you're up for that, but if you're in the key of G, he kind of does. does a kind of a little. But that's, that's a lot to take in in a short lesson like this, so you know, I'll give you a couple uh, just working off a G scale there. But I wouldn't worry too much about that. He doesn't do it on the, on, the, on the recording. He just does it live. But if we can get the differentiate, just get it swinging in a nice nice relaxed Old people are pushing Do what they wanna do mm -hmm. Back to G Stay at G And a straight D Now you can go Walk up there if you want to With a verse feel Not too many embellishments on the verse. And then we get to the Now into the chorus feel. We starting with that low G. Oh, push it. But they ain't push it. That's Old People by John Hyatt. Um, great song, really funny. He's such a great songwriter. I'm a big fan. And it's in the key of G, as mentioned. If you play along with the actual record, uh, you'll, you'll find that it's in F sharp. Okay, because that's the way he recorded it. But for, uh, for live purposes, he does it G, and I would recommend you do it in G. If you want to play it along with the actual record, you can do one of two things. You can either try and play the bar chord, which I don't recommend, or... You can tune your guitar down a half step, which some people do anyway, and then you're in the key of G. But uh, the live version on YouTube, I think it's live at the North Sea Blues Festival or something, um, that's where I picked up this. And, you know, I find you get a lot, I do anyway, I get a lot of uh, information from watching a live performance of a song, obviously. YouTube's great, but, you know, on YouTube it doesn't really show you, break it down. So, there's old people, I hope this works for you. Take care. My friend Jimmy has the coolest guitar lessons. Go to jimmydillon.com slash free and get all your amazing gifts. He's the best. Roll, rock and roll. Stay awesome and rock and roll. Hey, thanks for watching the video, and you know what it would mean a lot to me if you'd hit the subscribe button above, and then hit the bell notification for new videos when they come out.